Hi right, guys, welcome back to Second Setsu 3. We are now on part 25 and continuing our quest to slay these eight god beasts hatched from the mana stones before they can go and destroy the world. We were probably around halfway through the dungeon to reach the earth god beast and then I died. So, lose that much progress, but we did lose some. So, anyway, let's go ahead and actually portion it real quick. Uh, I did lose a level for each of my characters, which is bothersome. Um, because I did not save the restock that I did at the Dwarf Village, so we'll go ahead and restock here. Go ahead and get, make our way back to the cats so that we can upgrade our gear. We actually need to ride Flame into this location because um, you can't get to it on foot. again in the depths of the earth. Down we go. Looking to Gemstone Valley Dorian once again. like last time, we are going to kill everything along the way so that we can gain levels to get towards our, the inevitable class when we get level 38. Thank <laughs> you. 
need to pay better attention to health.
Wrestling! Yay, more leveling. Oh, and Angela's dead. I want to save it for use on the boss, but I think best to just burn now and we can always heal later. Ooh, that's always useful. Why they're not attacking? I would, it would make my life a lot easier if they were.
Oh, I get it. The cockatrices, while they're on the ground, are immune to earth, but when they turn into birds, they're immune to air. Okay, that makes sense. Time, yay. I think Brian has a ton of MP right now. about how far we made it last time. Okay. No, oh, should probably heal. Yep, we're gonna heal. Healing is good. Healing means not dying, means not having to redo these past 20 minutes a third time.
cornering to hit a bunch of enemies. Of course. Just in case one of these doors leads to the boss and the other leads to... We're going to spend a moment to heal up. Let's try going to the left. Ah, good. Heal and save. Pretty close to leveling up. Uh, not really. We need Angel's Rails. Oh, apparently. 
apparently it dropped me down a hole. So this was a one-way path. Lovely. Let's up this way. The boss! Alright, so, meet the God Beast of Earth, Land Umbra. That he is a being of Earth, he is weak against our wind. So make sure to take full advantage of it and blast the crap out of him with again. Of course, after mind downing him first, so he takes maximum damage from your spells. Careful of as Land Umber is Earth Elemental, he has the ability to petrify your guys. Which he will is more than happy to do so. He's nowhere near as bad as Dolan or Light Gazer was. Though he does hit really freaking hard. I'm 
godly people. will encounter in the final area. like the one god beast lair where the enemies clear out after you kill them. Or after you kill the god beast. Normally after you slay, or after you uh, kill the god beast in its lair, um, oh, actually, there's no reason to talk to you, because I'm about to go to Padan to get even better equipment. But anyway, uh, normally after you slay a god beast, and if you go back into its lair, the enemies gain like two to three levels. And you can use them to grind up a little bit more XP. Alright, so, let's head on over to Padan, which is now the conveniently glowing dot on the mini-map.
go ahead and save here, and we will save exploring Padan for the next video. Alright guys, stay tuned, I'll be back in a few minutes.